explain the story on your date break? Sure. It used to work, and then it quit working, and I never knew why. And I Googled it and YouTubed it, and like I took the dash apart, checking the stuff, and everything checked out. But I never could get it to work, and I did notice when I used to come that the truck would idle down and the oil pressure would go down to like 20. And I got to reading on stuff and it says that these trucks need to stay at like 40. And so I pull this throttle out to keep my pressure at 40 and I don't ever push it back in. And I guess you were moving it and pushed it back in and the jake brake started working. And then it didn't work. And then the throttle won't stay out anymore all the time. It would slide back in then the jake brake would work. So we figured out the jake brake problem. You can't have your throttle on and the jake brake work. Yes, so we have figured out the jake brake issue. Here we are. We are at Purdue. Look at all these humongous bins that our con might could fit inside of. But so how this works is you guys just saw us get probed where they take a sample and then they read how much moisture the corn is and what our damage is and our test weight is. And then we take all of that and we go up to the pits because we have a long line today so we have to wait for a minute. It goes into the pits and then we'll pull back around onto a set of scales and we will figure out how many bushels we had, how much weight was on the truck, so forth. And then you and then they'll send you a bill a little bit later. I will say that's the first time I've seen that. No, that's like our old wagon. That's a 1210 8. Welcome back to you guys. Thank you guys for stopping in. Look, it's our after harvest project and it has nothing to do with farming. It's got to do with our YouTubing and house situation. How long have we been on the waiting list? Six months. We finally got Starlink internet. Uh, we don't have it yet. Well, we're installing it. Hey, our, we ain't going to be able to afford any new tractors after we start paying this monthly. Yeah. That's the thing about the AT&T and the T-Mobile, the little boxes they advertise. Out here where we live, there's like 400 people that live here. And the, the satellite, they say, is all full. And T-Mobile runs off their satellite. We've been checking that for what? Year, over a year. Over a year since it was a year in June. Check it every day. Nothing available. I'm sliding down the roof. Oh, yeah, it's so slick. So, fun fact, our, the original part of our house is actually built back in the 1800s. So, this is a long generation worth of family farmhouse right here. And this chimney right here, it's leaked. It's always leaked. And we've always had a leak in our dining room. Oh, we got through the roof. The best ceiling ever. Through the roof? Yeah. Well, he's going to go, and he's going to be working on that. I got, well, actually... I have dirt bike races starting here in about a month, so I'm going to go get on the dozer and fix up my track a little bit and start practicing. I have been practicing and working out and getting fit and all that, and then harvest season hit and you just lose everything. Because then you just sit in the combine cabin and eat candy all day pretty much. It really hurt to fall down there. He's mounting, I'm guessing it's a receiver type thing. He's mounting that, and then we're, he's going to run it down through the roof to cause more leakage in our house, which is not a problem. It already leaks anyways. But in case you're wondering, if you see sort of right there where he's standing, that ridge that ends right there, that is the cutoff to the old house right there. And all of this right in here is what we added on back in 2014 to this house, along with a new basement down there too. I hate climbing up onto our house because our ladder ain't tall enough. It ends right there my head's at. And then it gets to wobbling. And then you got rocks with my mom's gardening stuff she does or whatever. So you got rocks you're gonna fall onto and probably bust your head. 
And then my pants, I'll show you them when I get down here. Look at my pants. I'm just trying to get every inch out of them. They're just ripped all around the waist. But you know, we gotta buy new stuff here on this farm, man. Sometimes affording new pants just ain't in the budget. But I do like my pink underwear I got on here. And they're American Eagle underwear, so they're good quality too. Don't mind the table, it's a little messy. We got race season starting for those two machines right there. But look at what we got sitting right there in the corner. You see that big jack? Yeah, we bought it with all the money we didn't make off harvest. And look, it's for the grain cart, and we'll just show you later, but the jack on our grain cart now, it's a piece of junk. So we got a new jack from H&R for like on clearance for like 50 bucks. It was a great deal. And we got this pipe, and we need a new pipe on there to, because it's a bigger jack. So it needs a bigger pipe to slide onto. So we gotta drill some holes in it. Why don't we get some montage music going and show you guys the action. But look at my fresh haircut. You know, I got a new haircut left a little long. I'm looking hotter every day. It's the little things in life that matter, like having an easy jack that can crank good. Because that jack over there does not crank, and when you put pressure on it and you're holding the cart up, and the cart rolls, the whole jack just rolls forward, and it just twists underneath itself, and then the cart's laying on the ground. And in case you're asking why I weld it on the ground with a sleeveless shirt, well, I was wearing the sweatshirt, but then it's a nice sweatshirt, and the spark started burning holes in it, and I thought, Real men should be able to take the sparks. On another note, look what has made it in the shop. You wanna tell them about your exciting project you've been working on the last couple nights? Putting lights and cameras on the car, on the spreader. You can't see in the spreader, especially at night. So we're gonna mount a camera looking down in there and then we're gonna have a camera on the back so that you can see the spinners. We're getting fancy around here. For our next little job on my dad's working on the lights, I voted we use the 1486 to pull the spreader just because it looks good in the drone shots, but he said he wanted a buddy seat that ain't gear shifters and a nice riding tractor. So I guess since we have this thing here, we'll use it. But part of the job that we need to do is we're gonna be putting one of our monitors in here. And I got a couple different style mounts here. And I gotta figure out what I want because don't mind my trash pile down there. What I really wanted to do, ugh, this seat. What I really wanted to do was make some sort of mounting bracket right here where it mounts onto the end of this. So that way you got your controls right here. Your screen is right there on your hands. But we ain't had time to do that this year. And I also thought about if you do that, have it mounted right here and this seat swivels. So if I swivel across, you may be getting into your camera monitor right there in your auto steer kit so what I'm really hoping we can do is I don't want to put anything else on this bar right here because it's pretty clean and organized even though for the 300 feet of wiring harness the previous owner put in here for the auto steer kit I don't know how tall he thought the tractor was as you can see his estimate of wire needed is a little bit off but I think what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to mount it right here to this handle you know, it's like a handle that, why would you put a handle there, type handle, to put a monitor there? Duh, of course, it's not like you're going to ever use it to get in and out of the tractor. Well, hot dog, it looks like it was made to go right there, doesn't it? The only problem is, it just matches that handle, and it's a little, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little flimsy. And some of our fields are not the smoothest riding fields we have in the world. So I have a feeling it may get a lot of. We will make sure we do a review on the mounting system because 
it will be tested. Thank you guys for watching this video. So a little bit more information on the Starlink program we are doing. So the main reason Starlink is here is to focus on my YouTube. And in order for me to able to have good internet at the house where I don't have to travel, I have to drive one mile down the road to our neighbor's house, which they have AT&T Wi-Fi. And there is a tower about no more than three miles from our house here. And that tower is completely full, but the neighbors have it. And it's a price, I think it's around $70, $80 a month. Don't quote me on that, though. And we could not get it. We've checked it for a year and a half, and we're still checking on it. Because Starlink is a Wi-Fi system that works completely off the satellites in space. With that being said, that means it's about $130 a month. And our hopes and goals with the Starlink is, is to improve, obviously, me as my YouTube and Wi-Fi and all the internet I use to help me be more efficient at my job but also to help with our TV service because right now we have direct TV and you know direct TV is outrageous I think it's like $150 a month so you we can't afford to pay Starlink and direct TV or we can we really do not want to because that's a lot of money going out the door for services like that so the goal is hopefully Starlink works well enough that we can get rid of direct TV and go straight to like YouTube Premium, Netflix, Peacock HBO Max, I think that's what it's called, Apple TV, all that where we can watch all of our shows and all that with that because there's no need to have DirecTV when you have Starlink that can perform all the live streaming services. But we'll keep you guys updated on how it works because we're still tr testing it and trying it out. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember, faith, family, farming. See you in the next video.